so today I am filming a room tour. I've had some of you guys ask me to do one before in the past, so I thought, why not? Let's do it. My room pretty much has to function as two different spaces. Obviously, it is my bedroom, but it is also where I do all of my arts and crafts. So literally half of my room is more like a craft room, but... I love it so much. So this is the view of my room from the doorway. My bed is over off to the side. Back along the wall is all of my art stuff. And then over there is my dresser. On the back of the door, I just have a coat hook that I got for a dollar at a yard sale. I used it to keep some of my purses and bags on. And then to the left side of my door, I have my nightstand and my bed. And there's like shelves and stuff up above my bed. This is one of my favorite things about my room. I took an old drawer that I got for a dollar at a yard sale. Yes, I love the look of that as a shelf. I think it is totally adorable. And I have my little Disney figurine collection on it. I just love my little Disney figurines. Um, most of these were like mystery box figurines. And look, I have Peter Pan and Captain Hook and Ursula and Ariel. Oh my goodness, I just, I love it so much. Under that is my nightstand and a trash can. And I keep my slippers right there. I got my nightstand years ago at a store called Big Lots. My lamp is from Target. I got that little owl at a yard sale. I keep a magazine on my nightstand. Because look, it's 21 Pilots. And I just like to look at their adorable faces every day, right? Yeah, who doesn't? Next to the magazine, I have this little white dish. And you're supposed to like put dipping sauces in it. But I use it as a place to like put my jewelry and my chapstick. And I also have a mint-colored um, placemat, a fabric placemat, on the top of my nightstand because the top of it was kind of getting scratched up. And it was so much cheaper to buy a placemat and put it on the top of it than buy a new nightstand. And then something I did to the side of my nightstand is I stuck this little command hook there to string my iPod charger to. That way it's not just like hanging all over my floor. And I just think that makes my room look a lot tidier because then the cord's not just laying on the floor. And when I'm laying in bed, I can easily reach the cord. Hashtag lazy, right? Yes. So then next to the nightstand is my bed, which is also from Big Lots. And it is just your standard dark wood sleigh bed. I think it's rather nice looking. And I wanted to go simple with my bedding, so I just have plain gray bedding that I bought at Target. And I think I got all of the bedding for like only $30. It was a set, and it was on sale, and I was like, yes, this is perfect, so I bought it. But I wanted to go with simple bedding, that way if I ever feel like switching out the throw pillows, I can keep the same bedding on, but change the whole look of my bed by changing out the throw pillows. All of those throw pillows are from Target, and all of the Disney plushies are from the Disney store. Above my bed, I have this big shelf that my dad actually built for me when I was a kid. I used to keep, like, all of my limited edition collector Barbie dolls up there, but then I put them in the attic because I was too tempted to open them, and my parents would never let me open them. So now there's just, like, picture frames... And things I get at antique shop, and this um, fabric banner, and this string of metal lights are both from Target. And of course I have to have a Walking Dead poster. That is my favorite show, and my mom got me that poster a few years ago for Christmas. I also have under the bed storage, um, I guess I can show you what I keep in those, but this is just because I don't have a lot of room to put things in here, so I just use under-the-bed storage. It keeps me organized and makes my room just feel so much cleaner. I have this big clear plastic one that when I was a kid I used to keep all my Barbie dolls in, but now it holds like all of my craft paper and my scrapbook paper books and all of that good stuff. 
And then I have these little canvas, I think they're, can I don't really know what they are, but they're like a thick fabric um, storage totes. And in this one, I keep like random crafting supplies that I don't really use that often. The middle one has my extra wallets and like um, travel cosmetic bags and jewelry bags, those types of things. And the last one just has some of my old books, like Charlotte's Web and James and the Giant Peach. You know, stuff I don't really feel like getting rid of yet, but I don't necessarily read these that often anymore, so I just stuck them under my bed. At the end of my bed, I have this old antique chest that my mom bought for me when I was a kid at a yard sale. And on top of it, I just have picture frames and some antique things. Like, I collect antique perfume bottles. I just think they're super cute. This one right here is one of my favorites. I just really love um, the picture on it. I don't really know why. And I always think it's fascinating when, like, the old perfume is actually still in them. This one is a giraffe. Like, I just think they're so beautiful, so I collect them. I'm actually going to jump over to this side now before I show you, like, my crafting section. Because this stuff is still, like, technically what you would call bedroom stuff. I feel like my room is two rooms shoved into one, to be honest. I have a bookshelf, which I also bought at Big Lots. And it was the very first piece of furniture that I bought with my own money. I think I was, like... 13 or 14, and I was so excited to be buying myself a bookshelf. On the top shelf, I have, like, my Walking Dead comic books and my whole collection of Walking Dead figurines. Told you I loved that show. On the second shelf, I have a little Disney collage that I made because I need little touches of Disney everywhere in my room. Um, more books, obviously. We need some of the classic fairy tales. <gasps> Peter Pan. Favorite book. Read it. Yes, you must. Um, mason jars that I just collect to change in. The next shelf obviously has more books, but then it also has some picture frames. A little Hello Kitty that my friend Jolie made for me. And some cute little stuffed animals that my sister gave me. The next shelf has, like, all of my Amish books. So, like, my Beverly Lewis books, which they're fiction, but um, they're based on, like, Amish people, you know, and some other Amish books. I live in Pennsylvania um, near some large Amish communities, so I don't know. I guess it's just a given that I would read these. Um, and then the bottom shelf has some, like, really old antique fairy tale books, and then, like, my Nancy Drews are back there, and some picture frames, um, my scrapbooks, and then next to that, I keep my binders that I keep all of my letters that I get from viewers in. But after I read your letters and, um, reply to you guys, I go ahead and I stick them all in protective pages in binders, that way I can go back and look at them and read them anytime I want to, and they always make me so happy. Next to my bookshelf is my dresser, which is also from Big Lots. But on my dresser, I have a headband holder that I made, picture frames, lotions, perfumes, more picture frames, jewelry boxes, an amazing Peter Pan collector's glass that my friend Julie got for me, which, like, I want to open it and use it, but I really also don't want to take it out of the box because I just think it is too perfect. Oh, by the way, that's a picture of me and Julie. Julie's the one that got me that because she's amazing. Hooray! <laughs> then next to my dresser is my closet, and on the back of my closet I have a hook that I hang all my sweaters and hoodies on. I also keep all of my Polaroid, not Polaroid, oh my goodness, those are photo booth pictures. That's what that's called. And now we are coming along to the back wall of my room, which is pretty much my crafting space. In this corner, I just have a lamp from Target, um, a CD rack, my build bears and a thing of nail polish, and my tripod. Then I have this storage shelving unit thing 
that I bought at Target, I think. And half of it is for makeup and half of it is for crafting supplies. On top, I just have my CD player and my old iPod used to fit in it, like the iPod fourth generation used to fit in there, but that's not the iPod I have anymore. But the back of it, um, you can put a CD into. So I still use it to listen to CDs. And this basket um, is makeup, and here I keep like my everyday makeup so I can just grab it and do my makeup. Um, this is full of all different kinds of makeup palettes. And then in front of that, I have my Disney Pixar daily calendar. I am obsessed with this thing. And I have a little Dumbo Tsum Tsum. And then these first two storage totes are still like makeup related. Um, in here I keep extra makeup palettes that I don't use that often. And then like eyeliners and smaller um, eyeshadow palettes. In the second one, I have little um, buckets from Target that have, like, my makeup brushes, makeup samples, extra deodorant, and perfumes. And then there's, like, um, a soap from Lush and a headband in there. And then um, this one, this one, and this one all have crafting supplies. And then this one's, like, just really random stuff. Um, but in here, I keep the box for that calendar because I keep all the pages. That's actually what I use to make that little collage on my bookshelf. But then the rest of it are all like little note cards and stationery that I use for pen palling and replying to my P.O. Box mail. This one is all of my ribbons and twine and string and stuff. This has random scrapbook stickers and all kinds of stickers in it. And this is all just random stuff. So there's like CDs. And uh, this little bag has sunglasses in it, and just, you know, really, really random stuff. This small little shelf thing, I also use to keep arts and craft supplies in. On the top, I just have sketchbooks and lined notebooks inside of a magazine rack. And then this little basket that I got from Target has, like, colored pencils and watercolors. And I think, like, my pastels and stuff are in there. In the top two drawers, I have post-its in this one, and um, small little notebooks in this one. In this one, I have, um, like, my die cuts and little film stickers. This one's a little more random. It has, like, my stampers and ink, my hot glue gun, a hammer, and some weird little pieces of wood that I might use to make something, but I don't know what yet, so I just keep them in here. And then the last one I usually have um, more stuff in. I usually keep, like, bubble envelopes in here, but I'm out of those. It's stuff I use for, like, um, pen palling and replying to your guys' letters. There's, like, packing peanuts, um, a stack of customs forms for when I have to send stuff out of the country, like when I shipped off my giveaway prize and stuff, because I think that actually went to the UK. So I always have to, you have to fill out little forms and stuff when you're sending stuff out of the country. So I keep extra papers here, that way when I go to the post office, I don't have to fill them out there, and it saves me time. And then here is my desk. I actually do have a desk tour video up already, so I might not go too much into depth about my desk right now, but I can link the video I did about a year ago down below, but I think I changed just a few things, so I'll talk about that. I think I keep everything on the inside of my desk pretty much the same. It's just a little messier now than when I filmed the desk tour video. And I actually think that almost everything on top of the desk is still the same. Um, except now I have a pack of Prismacolored pencils. But that's just because they're newer, so I just leave them there because I use them a lot when I draw. I added a Bing Bong. Tsum Tsum, and I now keep my paintbrushes on my desk. I think before they were over on this thing. Oh, and I got a new pencil case because it's Totoro and it's adorable, and I found a little plushie of May from Totoro that I've had since I was like four, so she's pretty old, but I found her in my closet, so I put her next to Totoro because why not? But yeah, everything else on the top of my desk is the same, so if you're curious about that, you can go ahead and watch that other video. 
but I did change what I have hanging above my desk. I actually really wanted to just hang up stuff that I made above my desk to help me feel more creative and inspired while I am working on art. So I hung up this cute little cork board that I made out of cork pieces from Target. They came in a two pack, but I like used twine and stuff and added a loop to hang it up with and I connected them together to make one piece instead of two. So really I didn't do too much with that. And then I hung up this cute little canvas um, painting that I did with acrylic paints the other night. And it's not the best. It's the first time I've ever really done paintings with acrylic paint on canvas before. Um, but I thought it was super cute and colorful, so I wanted to hang it up on my wall. And I have a bee hanging here that I made. I bought the burlap bee at Target, and I added the little hanging system. And I made a bow to hang on it, and I added lace. I think it's cute. And then I think I have different things on the shelf on my desk now. Just because I keep getting more art books, so some of them have had to come over here because they don't all fit over there anymore. So I have some of my art journals, um, my Flow magazine that was sent to me by a lovely subscriber. I believe her name is Anouk. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not, but she is such a sweet lady and we talk quite often actually. Um, I have my planners and journals there. And then that container I use to keep acrylic paints in, and then that planner I store a lot of my stickers in. In between my desk and the shelf, I have um, some art supplies that are just too big to really fit anywhere else. So I have like a giant thing of pastels, which I actually don't really like the way those pastels work. I think they're really meant for little kids, and I just might let my nieces use them to draw on the sidewalks with, because they're chalk pastels. Um, because I'm, I don't like them. <laughs> and then there's some big acrylic paints that I let my nieces and nephews use for crafts. And my, uh, craft paper cutter. On the wall over here, I have all my necklaces hanging. And under that, I have another little storage thing that I use for the rest of my art supplies. I got this storage container at a yard sale for $2, and it's actually, like, really, really awesome. It has these little cubbies on the top. I use one for my erasers and one for my glue sticks. Then it has these grooves that you can use to, like, set pens on or something, and they won't roll away. In this compartment, I keep my extra tape and uh, gum bands. Then there's some more acrylic paints that are too tall to fit in with the other ones. And in this one, I have boxes of Zots, which are round adhesive glue dots. Then it has this little drawer, and I have, um, like, sponges for painting and stuff. And just a few other, like, little random art supplies in there. But then this actually spins, and in here I have um, some photos and letters. And this side, actually, it... Um, turns into an easel and you pull this out and there's like a little lever right there that if you pop that down it like leaves it opened and it's a little tiny easel. And then the last side is a little cork board and I have the Christmas card that my friend Jolie made for me on there. So in the shelves on this storage thing I have the rest of my art journals and books and then this little container is completely full of washi tape. I just can't stop buying washi tape. I think it's amazing. And then I also have these two little storage containers. The one with the little drawers has all of my crafting card stocks in it. And then the little bin next to it has like liquid Elmer's glue and little bottles of Mod Podge in it. And on the wall next to this corner, I have another canvas that I painted. That one is of Rapunzel looking at the lights in the sky. And then um, I have this little half cork board, half chalkboard that I got at Target. Under those, I have an extra chair, which, shockingly, it has more Disney plushes on it. And then we are just back to my bed. Here's just another quick little view of, like, the bedroom half of my room. And then there is the crafting half of my room. 
So there it is, the room of a crafting Disney-obsessed woman. Yep. Thanks for watching. I love your beautiful faces, and I will see you next time. Bye!